is what capitalism brings about. It provides strong devotion to perfection because of the intense competition in this industry. Because there's millions of buffets in the Las Vegas area. They all have to make it even better and tastier. Okay. Ice cream cone with the chicken in it. We should just try that later. They have these, these heat things so you don't burn your fingers, but I don't think you really need it because obviously my fingers are not going to burn. But they're kind of, and they're kind of remarkable. The design of it. What do you think of the design of the place? Well, they I think they spent like a hundred million um, to make it. Yeah. Chicken sausage. Chicken and waffles in a cone. Are you gonna get one, Michael? Just grab, just grab one. Grab it. Just grab it for the hell of it. You grab it with your hand. I don't have a plate. Prime rib is pretty pretty decent, but not not amazing. I would expect more. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try the, this beef rib now. I'm gonna just pan to the ceiling for a okay. second. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, let me pan to the ceiling. Oh, look, even the ceiling is interesting. Okay, it's average. So I'd say wins the beats 
everyone else. That's why is that? Just because everything's everything looks great, but the taste is a little not no big deal. And then the coffee was kind of kind of uh, the coffee was a little bit cold. But yeah, it looks a little red. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now I've been to some of the world's best buffets. This definitely has to be one of the best presentations for a buffet. Like the, it's top notch. It actually even beats the Wynn Hotel for in terms of just the style and appearance. Now in terms of the food quality, that leaves a little bit uh, something to the imagination. But in terms of the appearance and style, I would say this is when you're paying to, when you come in here. It's like going inside a good club, good atmosphere. Happening music, good good vibe. That's what you're paying for. Now the food, yeah, they just they just give you the food. I mean, it's not a, sadly it's not amazing, but it's a good atmosphere inside. I think that's worth it. Hey, here's my dessert. I got like a macaroni, macaroon, some tart thing, some espresso, <laughs> cream brulee, and then Michael got cream us similar items. Well, we paid uh, $41 to uh, eat here. So, there you have a thing called the Chef Special. Looks like a little tiny uh, hamburger. I think it has a little bit of slab of cheese on it. And, uh, <laughs> well, it looks like a little tiny uh, bun. Okay. Bun feels in my hand a little bit cheap, but uh, let's let's try a taste of it. Uh, how was the taste? Uh, honestly, it tastes like something that at Fat Burger they would have said this is a meat or high standard, you have to throw this crap away. <laughs> and make sure that they burn it so no bum eats it either, because it tastes so bad. Uh, but uh, it's just unfortunate. I mean, it's just so special. It means that the chef knows how to make this. No, but he doesn't, apparently. Well, I just had my dessert here. And while this place is very impressive visually, the dessert is actually not quite as good as McDonald's, which is a very low standard. I mean, most people don't think of McDonald's when they think of gourmet desserts, but I must say, even the ice cream at McDonald's is higher quality than the gelato or any of the cupcakes and uh, cookies and things like that. I mean, the, the, the desserts are pretty lousy. I mean, if you can't beat McDonald's, you should be out of business. So, improve it. Blue cheese. And then here's my favorite goat, goat cheese. This is duck. Duck, huh? We're just play on me. No, a lot of things are just for full yeah. effect. That was one lousy buffet. <laughs> 